This is the time of year when people come for blessings. And it's good to remember that the Buddha said the best blessings, the highest blessings, are the ones you give to yourself. You search out wise people. You train yourself. And as the Buddha said, you get yourself rightly directed. The word self here means mind. Point your mind in the right direction. away from the concerns of the world, material gain, status, praise, sensual pleasures, and towards something that's higher, something that's more valuable, more reliable, something that goes, provides a deeper happiness for the mind. That's what we do when we meditate. We're directing our minds in that direction. And as you go through the day, it's good to remember that that's the direction you want to go in. As for issues that come up in the course of the day, to what extent do they help in that direction and to what extent do they go otherwise? That's a good question to ask and keep on asking, because events present themselves all the time. Choices present themselves all the time. And you want to make the right choices. You don't want your boat to go off in another direction. You've been going in a good direction so far. You don't want it suddenly to turn around. Because this is something we have to watch out for. The mind, the Buddha said, is very quick to reverse direction, so quick that there's no good analogy for it. So you have to be mindful and alert. Mindful to remember what the right direction is and alert to make sure that the mind really is going there. You're also mindful to remember what are the activities that the Buddha said go in the right direction. You start with generosity, move on to virtue. Concentration, discernment, these are the things that head you in the right direction. So even though there are issues in the world sometimes that would come from going in another direction, you say that you can let that part of the world go. We live in this human world. There are lots of opportunities. It's like that cave that the monk told John Fuang about, this monk who was his teacher, and this would be his doctor had quite a lot of psychic powers. And one time he and his teacher were in, given permission to go into a cave. And there was one item in the cave that they were going to be allowed to take. And they went into the cave, and they discovered all these skeletons of the people who had gone in and tried to take things, and then died as a result of taking things that were not theirs. So they got the one item and they got out. And they said there were a lot of very attractive things that other people tried to take, but you had to focus on what you wanted, not let yourself give rise to any greed for anything else. That's how you came out safe. Well, it's the same with life in the human world. There's really one thing that's really worthwhile. That's the end of suffering. Everything else, if you hold on to it, is going to kill you. If it doesn't kill you physically, it's going to kill your virtue then you're really in a bad shape. So remember, there's a right direction and lots of wrong directions in the world. And there are lots of things that will tempt you to go off in the wrong directions. Not only material goods outside, but a lot of the voices in your own mind that bought into a lot of the games that the world plays. You just say, no, I'm just going to let that game go. If someone else wants to win the game, they can win it, but it's not a game for me. That's how you get yourself in the right direction and stay in the right direction and keep the mind from reversing course.